Okay, so as has become the tradition, this would be the completion of uh, the lecture. Um, uh, okay. So we'll give in, we have this uh, triangle right here. We have uh, two sides and the angle between them. And what we're trying to do is get the area of a triangle. Um, so I guess what is the area of a triangle? Maybe you'll remember. If not, I'll tell you right now. The area of a triangle is one half base times height. Okay, so my height is going to be that guy right there. Okay, but now we have a right triangle. So I know that the sine of C equals the opposite over the hypotenuse, which tells me that my height is A times the sine of C. Uh, so there we go, if that's my H, that's my H. And I'm gonna say maybe I should maybe I should write this as area, not a, because we're already using a for angles. All right. So that means my area of a triangle is gonna be one half a b times the sine of that angle right there. Okay. So let's just take an example here then. Where, let me see, so they gave us three, they gave us four, and they said that's 30 degrees. So, I mean, again, there's my height right there, but I can just use my formula and just say that the area of this triangle sine of 30 degrees, which is one half times three times four times one half, which is just gonna be three. Right, because this guy and this guy kill that guy. All right, so there's number four, being able to get the area of a triangle using the sine. Um, then we have one other thing here, which is called Heron's formula. Uh, so like it says here, the proof is in the book. If you wanna look through it, it kind of, it's a, it's a long geometric argument that I don't really wanna go through. It has a lot of historical interests because Heron was a uh, big fancy Greek mathematician and physicist. So it's a famous formula, um, doesn't come up a whole lot, but um, I would guess we just want you to be familiar with it. Um, okay, so it equals S, times S minus A, A times S minus B times S minus C, all square root. And we're gonna say S is X is what's called the semi-perimeter.
which is literally one half the parameter. Ah, okay, so they give us a problem here. I wanna find the area of this house looking thing. Oh, it's a home plate. <laughs> in, in baseball. It looks like a house to me. Uh, let's see. Um, so, okay, so they say that's 12, they say that's 12. And that's 17, which I guess means this is 17 too. So we're gonna split this up into two things. I guess I'll call this one A1 and I'll call that one A2. Area one is gonna be easy enough to find. That's just gonna be length times width. Uh, 144.5. Okay, and then to get A2, we're gonna use Heron's formula because we have all the sides and none of the angles. Okay, so the first thing you gotta do is find your S. Uh, 12 plus 12 plus 17 divided by 2, I got 20.5. So that means here, let me get over here so I got some room here. So I've got 20.5 times 20.5 minus 12 times 20.5 minus 12 times 20.5 minus 17. And I'm gonna take the square root of that whole thing. Point 0.5, um, and that's what, 2.5 or 3.5? And if I just type all that junk in there, 20.5 times 8.5 times 8.5 times 3.5 is that number. And if I take these, well here, I'll write it in. Then I take the square root of that guy, I get about 72. And so the area of my whole thing here is gonna be the bottom 144.5 plus the top, which was 72. And I got 216.5. And that's my answer. Okay, so two area problems there. Um, and I guess that's about all you need to know for 8.3. And I guess that's it for what's gonna be on that module quiz for next Wednesday. So uh, that's it. You guys have a good weekend.